ordinary people and leaders, and then as ever, treating them as common slaves. The man in overall command of the expedition seized the king of the whole territory for himself and held him prisoner for six or seven months. Quite illicitity demanding more and more gold and emeralds from him. This king, one Bogota, was so terrified that in his anxiety to free himself from the clutches of his tormentors, he consented to a demand that he fill an entire house with gold and hand it over. To this end, he sent his people off in a search for gold, and bit by bit they brought it to him along with many precious stones. But still the house was not filled, and the Spaniards eventually declared that they would put him to death for breaking his promise. The commander suggested they should bring the case before him as representative of the law, and when they did so, entering formal accusations against the king, he sentenced him to torture, should be pers persist in not honoring the bargain. They tortured him with a strabidon, put burning tallow on his belly, pinned both his legs to poles with iron hoops and his neck with another, and then, with two men holding his hands, proceeded to burn the soles of his feet. Okay, here it is right now. Oh. From time to time, the commander would look in and repeat that they would torture him to death slowly unless he produced more gold, and this is what they did. The king eventually scrubbing to the anger, the agonies they afflicted on him. The Lord sent a sign of his own abomination of such barbarity by burning down the entire town as they were in the very act of applying the torture. Each and each of the other Spaniards in turn burst as they were in nothing save the science of tearing hapless victims limb from limb, limited his fine commander by devising fresh tortures for the cacique and lord of the two town under his jurisdiction, even though these leaders and all their people had done nothing but minister to the Spaniards every need and bring them more and more gold and emeralds. Such gifts were repaid by the donors being tortured and having demands made them for yet more gold and precious stones. And in this fashion, the lords of the entire region were burned and dismembered. So that's enough of that. That's nothing but murder incorporated. As I said, this is before 1619, so by the time they came to bring the southern kingdom into this wicked area and lands, they had murder incorporated down pat. You see that? That's why the most I said. Isaiah 47. And six, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy, no mercy upon the ancient as thou very heavily laid thy yoke. See. Ezekiel 35. You wonder why there's a payback? 
why the Most High says what he says, and what this Bible says, and what it's talking about. Isaiah 35, we start at verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. You notice the Most High in this lesson is always talking to the land. But who lives in the land? Who lives in Mount Seir? Mount, Mount, M-O, M-O-U, N-T represents mountain. So it says, set your face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So who's this mountain Seir? Who are these people? You got to go to Genesis, the 36th chapter, to find out. Genesis 36. Read verse 1. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom, okay? Jump up to verse 9. And these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. So the Edomites lived in a mountain called Seir. That's who he's talking to, the Edomites, the so-called white man, indigenous, so-called white man. So now, go back to Genesis, excuse me, Ezekiel. 36, 35, Salakia. Moreover, the word of the Most High came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, Mount and Seir, and prophesy against it. It's to the Edomites who lived in Mount Seir. They gave David in the mountains. All he came was ran into the Nod, the, the mountain Nod. Then the Edomites, Esau gave, was given the mountain Seir. Like their the closest habitation that they have is where? The Caucasus Mountains. So now, it says, And say unto it, verse 2, Thus said the Most High Power, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Most High. Why? Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. See? He said, Therefore as I live, said the Most High Power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. You see what we just read in this book? A short account of the destruction of the Indies by Bartholomew de la Casas. With pictures to prove it. They drew pictures to prove it. This, uh, it is what it is. I mean, he said, Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it. Him that passes out and him that returneth. And I'll fill his mountains with his slain men. In, his, in thy hills, I mean your kingdoms, your large kingdoms, your small kingdoms, in, his, in thy hills, and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers, shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall be not return. And ye shall know that I am the Most High. Because thou hast said, these two nations, man, over here in this Western Hemisphere and the land that the Most High loves, the land of Israel, these two nations and these two countries, two nations representing the Northern tribes and the Southern tribes, these two nations and these two countries, like I said, land of Israel, land over here in the Western Hemisphere, shall be mine and we will possess it whereas the most high was there because he's there he's within us he's within the children of Israel he's within us therefore as I live said the most high power I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy which thou hast used out of thine hatred against them and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee, when we say you're going to discover their sins, 
And thou shalt know that I am the most high and that I have heard all thy blasphemies, which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, they are laid desolate. They are given us to consume. Yeah. Thus with your own mouth, ye have boasted against me. And I have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them, the Most High said. Thus said the Most High Power, when the whole earth rejoices, the whole earth going to be rejoices, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, the Most High's chosen people, 12 tribes of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. We read about it already. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, O Edomites, and all I do me, look up I do me, and all I do me. So you just think in your wildest dreams that he don't know what he's talking about. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's see what I do me in the Zonovan Compact Bible District. Let's see what I do me mean. I do me. I do me pertaining to Edom. See? Pertaining to Edom. Greek and Roman name for Edom. Can't get no clearer than that. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all I do me, even all of it, and they shall know, he's saying it over and over again, and they shall know that I am the Most High. Straight up. Without a shadow of a doubt. You're going to know that he is the Most High. You don't know nothing else. You're going to know the most high. Point blank. Period. He's going to let you know. So that's why I say, you know, they look at us, but then they know who we are. The elite do. We don't know who we are as a, you know, a whole nation. One third of us do. But the whole nation, we don't, they don't know who we are. Look at uh, Job 14 and 5. Job 14 and 5. It says, seeing his days are determined. See, the most I determine your days, their days. The number of his months are with thee. The number of his months are with the most High. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. He got a certain boundary that you're not going to be able to pass. They're not going to be able to pass. Deuteronomy 7 and 10. Deuteronomy 7 and 10. It's the most high said, and repay them that hate him to their face. To destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will repay him to his face. Right? He was saying, and repair them that hate him to their face to destroy them. He will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will repay him to his face. Who hates the most high? Since we're speaking of the last kingdom we've been slavery under, Psalms 83rd chapter. It says, Keep not thy silence, verse 1, O Most High. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Most High. For lo, thine enemies, so the Most High and the Mashiach shall have enemies. For lo, thine enemies make a turmoil, that's an uproar. And they that hate thee have lifted up their head, right? Remember what he said, Deuteronomy 7 and 10. And repay them that hate him to their face, to destroy them. And he will not be slack to him that hate of him. He will repay him to his face. 
That's why I say, he keeps saying, you're going to know that I am the most high. Psalms 83. Below, verse 2, thine enemies make a turmoil, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. So listen to what he said. Verse 6, the tabernacles of Edom. So you're going to pay them to their face. Oh yeah, it's going to be something to behold. It's going down. Look. Not only that, he say when we pay them to their face, right? Look at um, look at um, Jeremiah fifty. <clears throat> And we're going to look at verse 25. The Most High have opened his armory, his weapons of war, and have brought forth the weapons of his indignation. For this is the work of the Most High power of hosts in the land of the Chaldean. Remember the Chaldean, Babylonians, still dealing with the same people. Babylon. Verse 15, say, shout against her round about. She have given her hand. She have done all the things what we just read about. Going back there, we may bring it up to date. You know, police are just killing us. Verdict is not guilty. Isaiah, I mean, Zechariah 11 and 5, whose oppressors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. Shout, her, shout against her round about. She have given her hand. Her foundation are fallen. Her walls are thrown down, this destruction. For it is the vengeance of the Most High. Take vengeance upon her, as she have done, do unto her. Hmm. Verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon, against America, round about. All ye that bend the bow, all ye that have missiles, shoot at her, spare no arrows, spare no missiles. For she have sinned against the Most High. Don't get it twisted, y'all. The Most High is remembered. Remember, remember you said the Most High's eyes are upon the sinful kingdom and I will destroy it from out the face of the earth. Jeremiah 51 and 20. This to us, children of Israel, say, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. I'm telling the men of Israel, Thou art my battle axe. Remember you say he's building an exceeding great army? Say, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. But with thee will I break in pieces the nations. And with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. These poor chop eating preachers and those that's following them. Saying we ain't got to follow the most high. And with thee will I break in pieces the husband and the farmers and his yoke of oxen. And with thee will I break in pieces captives and rulers. And I will render unto Babylon, America, and to all the inhabitants of the Chaldees. All their evil that they have done in Zion. In your sight, said the Most High. So I said, Behold, I am against the old destroying mountain, said the Most High, which destroyed all the earth. The Babylonians didn't destroy all the earth. The Edomites destroyed all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee and roll thee down from the rocks and will make thee a burnt mountain. <laughs> Go to Ezekiel. He's going to roll out his hand. He's going to use his hand, right? So let's look at his hand first. Go to uh, Psalms 17. He's going to use his hand, right? Psalm 17. Let's 
14. Psalm 17 and 14. From men which are thy hand, O Most High. From men of the world, the world of Israel. Right? So, go to... Ain't interesting. I'm just about finished though for right now. <laughs> so he said he gonna use his hand, right? Look at uh, Ezekiel 25, and we're going to look at verse 12. He's going to use his hand, right? Who's his hand? Men, right? So he said, thus said the most high power. Verse 12. Because that Edom, so-called white men, have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended. Hear that? Greatly offended. And revenge himself upon them. Therefore, thus say the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from T men. These are the capital cities. Wherever the capital city, like New York is the capital city of America. From T men and Day of the Dan shall fall by the sword. This is what he said he's going to do. Remember, he said he's going to tear him down with his hand, with the most high's hand. That's what he said. And his hand is men. He said, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Read it again. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Most High. I read it again. And I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. And they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. And they shall know my vengeance, said the Most High Power. He going to use the hand of his people, Israel. He said they're going to do in Edom according to the to Most High's anger and according to the Most High's fury. Oof. That's going to be something. And we know that uh, the Most High is, uh, says he's, uh, He's a just power, you know. He's a just power. <laughs> so we have to, as the Israelites, continue to move forward in our plight to make it to the kingdom that's already prepared for us. Humble ourselves before the Most High. Keep His commandments. Do what's right in His eyes. Stop being concerned about what man thinks. And understand. We got next forever and ever and ever. 
And a remnant of all nations going to be there. Go to Micah 2 and 10. Understand this too. Arise ye. That's what we say, Krum Yashorella. Arise ye and depart from the mindset. Because where you going to go? Where you going to run from the sky? You can't go nowhere and be safe from what's going down on this earth. Only way you're going to be safe is to be having a relationship with the Most High, power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Arise ye and depart by Shom, Mashiach, Kavashah, in the name of the Lord, Savior. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. See, this ain't our rest. This is not our rest. Thinking you're going to be comfortable in this place, man. Or trying to find some rest in this place. This is not your rest, because it is polluted. You hear that? It's polluted. Filthy McNasty. I don't know if y'all are in any city where pollution is high. But you can wash your car and it come out and just look filthy McNasty. The rain. When it ain't rained a long time. Polluted. It's nasty. You can look at it. It's just nasty all in the air. This place is polluted. It shall destroy you. Hear that? It shall destroy you. Even with the sore destruction. If you allow it to penetrate your every being of living. So you following the way of the world. You're the enemy. You at war with the Most High. Understand this and overstand this. He said, arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. This is not our rest. Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you. Even with the sore destruction. So we're going to get our rest. Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob. Isaiah 14 and 1 to 3. For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob and yet and will yet choose Israel. He will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose the Israelites. And set them in their own land. The Most High is going to do this. He's going to set us in our own land. And the strangers, these other nations, that you know, a remnant of all the nations, shall be joined with them. They're going to be joined with us. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to be cleaving to us. Because they don't know that the Most High is with us. When you understand all the destruction that's getting ready to go down, and that's happened, and then this is what's going down. Right here that we reading here. And the people shall take them. Once all the dust and all the, the, the destruction is settled down. We're going to take these people. These strangers. These other nations. These heathen nations. And the people shall take them. And bring them to their place. We're going to bring them to the place where they're going to live. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the most high. For servants and men slaves and handmaids and women slaves. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. We were in captivity. What? We'll see all these nations had us in captivity. So they're going to be in captivity. They shall take them captives, whose captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. We're going to have the rulership. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Most High shall give thee rest. That's when we're going to have the rest, y'all. When this happens, this ain't our rest. This polluted. Told you it's polluted. And it shall come to pass in the future, in the day that the Most High shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. You're going to be sad no more. And from thy fear, you're going to be afraid or scared of nothing anymore. And from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. So that's when we get that rest. Oh yeah, that's coming. So with all said, Daniel's seven and eighteen.
Daniel 7, 18. But the saints, well, the 12 tribes of Israel, Psalms 148, 14, defines who the saints are. Read it for yourself. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Gonna take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Gonna take the kingdom, one third, mind you. Gonna take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Verse 27. In the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heavens shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, to the 12 tribes of Israel. One third, mind you, of the 12 tribes of Israel, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. It's going to last forever and ever and ever. That's why it's worth it to be able to come back to the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. Fear the Most High, cry unto the Most High, become that new creature, be born again, become that new man, that new woman, in the eyes of the Most High. After all this time, we didn't uh, just told him, get out of our face. And here we are in these last days coming back to him. All over the world. It's beautiful. In the kingdom and the dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all the minions shall serve and obey him. Hear that? They're going to serve and obey him, as we just read. Hitherto is the end of the matter. That's all I got to say. So that should be, hopefully that was edifying, and you got some out of this lesson. I suggest that you study, show yourself approval to the Most High, rightly dividing the word of truth, and take this in, because... Like I said, there's a reason why the judgment is coming. You heard a lot just from the scriptures that I brought out and what I gave you in a short account of the destruction of the Indies by Bartholomew de la Casas, that book. It's terrible. Something like you'll never hear in your life. But you won't see that on the History Channel because they ain't going to expose that. And with that, I'm out. Shalom.